Hello, Robs. This is going to be a long one. A long book review. <laughs> As we have more books than any mortal can handle. Let's get going with this bullshit. Be true to your teeth, or they will be false to you. A message from your dentist. And does it say where it's from? Oh, Devonshire Publishing, Detroit, Michigan. And that's because, as you'll see, this guy right here, Joseph Pinto, it was his estate that I went to, and he was at one time the president of the Detroit Dental Bulletin. And as you can see, I got about 20 or 30 Detroit Dental Bulletins from the 80s to the 90s. Amazing. Amazing ephemera. There's the 24th Annual Dental Review of the Detroit Society, the Dental Society. Put aside this stuff for the rest of these. There's more of them. Detroit Dental Review, 1963 and 64. And then Pinto's own embossed 82, 83 bulletins for which he was, that's when he was elected president, 82, 83. So that explains a lot about that. Let me place these in here so I can make room for the rest of my adventure. Oh. Cat from Outer Space by Ted K. A spaceship, a telepathic cat who communicates with humans and wears a collar with magic power. That's Jake, an unusual cat who landed on Earth when a spaceship was hit by a space garbage. <laughs> space garbage. Space garbage in the Earth's atmosphere. Now that he's on Earth... All he wants is to escape and go and join Kitters, Mr. Kitters. But with the military and the most brilliant scientist in the land trying to capture him, it won't be easy. He took it too far with that, that he's a fugitive. How fucking dare you. Unidentified flying oddball. Which was a Disney movie. Thrilling laugh a minute action based on the Disney movie. Where's this shit? Scholastic 79. The Doctor's Secret Journal, a true account of violence at Fort Mishlamackinac, written in 1769 to 1772. Obviously a reprint. Probably sold at Fort Mishlamackinac. Norman Bridwell presents the Witch's Catalog, a colossal collection of marvelous, magical, and mysterious things for every girl and boy in the world. This is all still from Pinto's estate. Ditto with my hams. Hams, and then there was this too. Kalkaska. I don't know what relation he had to Kalkaska, but so, yeah, there's the witch's catalog. Catalog. Simple magic tricks illustrated. The great graphics. I know this was part of some kind of a... I think it was some kind of magic kit. But, I mean... Obviously, it was put on a rack of some sort. Because it's got a hole right through it. UFO Encounters by Rita Gelman and Marsha Seligson. Since I'm now earnestly researching Laura Mundo, even the juvenile stuff is relevant. Plus, while the FBI was 
investigating Laura Mundo for her first in a in a invitation to the first Detroit Saucer Club meeting, Flying Saucer Club meeting. She sent out a thing that said, "Send all your space cadet children, or something to that extent. Send your space, send your junior space cadets." And the note, the inference was like the Nazi youth because they were accusing the early Detroit groups of being maybe not financed, but put up by communists and fascists. Truth was, they were the communists and fascists in the FBI, as it always has been the case. But they were blaming Laura and the gang for being fascists. Makeup Monsters by Marsha Lynn Cox. Just shows you how to be a makeup monster. Basically, this is what every female now looks like. <laughs> Give or take seven lip rings and tattoos. I mean, what a fucking somnambulist generation. Gross, buddy. Gross. That's fucking pretty good, honestly. Whoa. Gravity and the Astronauts by Max Freeman. Does it say Max? May Freeman. Look at this fucking guy. Cool stuff. Um, yeah, that concludes my... No, it doesn't. I've got a few more books from the estate sale. Nostradamus's The Complete Prophecies by John Hogue. Obviously, you all know all y'alls know who uh, most nostril Damas is. So that's that. And then there's the quotations of Mayor Komene Young. Quite possibly the most racist mayor in Detroit area besides Orville Hubbard. And a lot of people think that the two hated each other, but actually they were complimentary of each other. And when Mayor Coleman Young won his first term. Orville Hubbard took him out for dinner, lunch, whatever the fuck it was. The White Witch of Rose Hall, which is based on a Jamaican legend of a a voodoo. I believe it's voodoo. It's a historical novel, and I'm going to sneeze. I got it just because, yeah. Everything was 70-some percent off, so basically got a whole box of all the stuff you saw from, from the estate sale for 10 bucks. Which means that basically what they were saying was all that stuff was worth forty dollars, which is why I didn't go to the last day, and then they kicked me out because they had to go. Charles Dickens' best stories. Apparently, that's what Dickens looked like. Charles Killian from the library. I will look him up. This book didn't really interest me all that much, but. It was an older hardcover, and I'd already found two Dickens books at, what's this? Some Debris in there. I mean, that's a 64-year-old book. Can't go wrong. I mean, you can go wrong. Dead Reckoning, the Art of Forensic Detection. Particularly like the cover. Method, the Andrews case. I forgot to give it to my mother today. But, hey, look, there's old Sherlock. Sherlockian Holmesy. The Art of Forensic. It's got a cool cover, and 
I said I forgot to give it to me mother. We actually got many of these second box of books for me for course her off since she's a senior citizen. Motor City Rock and Roll with the Rolling Stones on the cover. Makes no fucking sense. I understand they probably played her and all these people played her, but are they really from Detroit? No. At least I think that's the Rolling Stones, right? Yeah, that's Mick Jagger. There's Keith Richards. Signed by, uh, who was it? Bob uh, Harris. And John Douglas Peters. So, yeah, it goes in my Michigan collection, along with the Sault Ste. Marie one. Oh, what's this, buddy? Clyde's Drive-In, home of the Big C Burger, 70th anniversary. 2019, well, 100 years, that'll be worth some money. What's this about? Deed of gift? What the fuck? I just got a gift. Chippewa County Historical Society has a gift. The items listed below. Receipt of businesses. Receipts of businesses. Oh, that's great. That's nice of you, ma'am. I have one little story about Sault Ste. Marie. One time, I believe, was it the only time I went there? Yeah, I believe so. Um, my, my father and I went to Florida for spring break during school time because that's the time my dad had the week off from work. So we went. <laughs> so I basically had a basically a two or three week vacation. That's how I ever went to school anyway in junior high. But uh, we went all the way to the Keys, and then we drove back up. It couldn't have been, could it? When we drove back up, and then, no, nah, I must have went to Sault Ste. Marie twice then. First time we went there during spring break and drove all the way back to, from Key West to Sault Ste. Marie, so basically as far as you can go on 75. Great story. Another time I went there in the winter to Sioux and had uh, Little Caesars Pizza back when they were good. Probably the 80s, 70s. I don't know. A little bit of Coldplay fix you inside the book. Um, I got a bunch of Mylar jackets. This is the Reformation of History by Diarmid McCulloch. I only got it because of the Mylar jacket, which I will replace later on a different book. I'll get to the rest of the those. Winchester Mystery House, which came from the Winchester Mystery House Museum. Or maybe it's the house itself by Sarah Party Winchester. A driven woman, the lady who was an heir to the Winchester rifle. And she <laughs> fucking just kept building onto this house. I believe it's the place where the stairs just end inside the house. She kept building rooms upon rooms. This fucking lady was absolutely brilliant. There it is. The stairs that just go to nowhere. The lady was fucking brilliant. If I had the money, I'd do the same. But I don't, so... Shut the fuck up. T.S. Eliot, Inventions of the March Hare. Poems, 1909-1917. Featuring previously unpublished works. Again, I bought it for the jacket, even though I do have a copy of this book by Elliot. But for two bucks, with the discount, it only came to basically one dollar for all the books I got. So, a buck a book, couldn't pass it up. So great, great jackets, as you so see. Green Mountain Man, The Odyssey of the Eth. Odyssey of Edith, Edith, Ethan Allen by Earl Fane, which I thought originally was a biography of him, but it's just some fucking series story. Downstream from Trout Fishing in America, a memoir of Richard Brodigan. You should know who Brodigan is. If you don't, then that's up to you. Killed himself, by the way. What year is this? 
89. I'm planning on taking it out of the jacket and selling it, but we'll see if that comes about. This one does not have the Mylar, but I still got it because it's one of those embossed covers, Where Are the Children? I believe it's based on that story of the children who were locked in the attic. Mary Higgins clock. Get under there. Another book I'm not keeping. I will sell if I can get 12 bucks for it. And make six off it. The collected novels of Thomas Hardy. Obviously, it has a mylar jacket, as you can see. A White Pine Empire. The Life of a Lumberman by John Emmett Helligan. John was from Minnesota and lived in Minnesota, so really has no Michigan connection, but seems to have some value. Even if I can only get 15 or 20 for it, I will sell it and keep the jacket. This is the box that was given to me by... Yeah, shit. Kroger peanut butter, and it's obviously an old jar. So now I can endeavor to buy 58... Well, what's it fit? A dozen? A dozen two-pound jars. I believe I have one or two two-pound jars. But I don't know what to... I'd have to figure out what year it is. That might give me some help. Not that you care about the years. But that's my uh, theory on that. This book... Worth some money. I don't know if I'm going to sell it, though. The dictionary. The Barnhart Concise Dictionary of Etymology, which is obviously word roots. These books were two for buy two, get one free. So I bought, what did I buy? An outline, an illustrated outline of history of mankind. was one of the books. Don't look very uh, valuable, but whatever, it's old, old enough. 51, 49, 70, 72 years? Yeah, 72 years. Nothing extraordinary, but it'll work for me. Another Michigan book, Humane Society, Animal Welfare in Detroit. Can't remember which where I got this, either the library or Salvation Army, I believe it was the library. This was the free book I got, How to Read a Book, the classic best-selling guide to reading books and accessing information. Information. What's that? We found ephemera. Speaking of ephemera, I have a book being delivered tomorrow from this local lady. She drives it over and keeps the fucking shipping, but that's fine. I get it in 12 minutes. Oh, look, the old the little professor, which was in downtown Plymouth at Main Street. Went there many times. Didn't buy many books because they were outrageously priced. But I will. This I also got at the library, Finnegan's Wake. Don't know shit about it. Don't care about it. Just got it because I've been building a Finnegan, not a fan. James Joyce collection. Robert B. Parker's Ace Atkins. Actually, like the cards, but I only bought it because it was ten cents, and it has a mylar jacket. And I can put it on some shitty book. Hey, look! It almost looks like a moon. That's cute. Looks like a moon. More great tales of crime and detection. Same thing for the Mylar. <coughs> it 
this was a thrift store find. Winston S. Churchill by Randolph S. Churchill. His youth, 1874 to 1900. It's worth some money. Couldn't find any of the other volumes, but I assume they will appear at other stores. It's worth about 12. Not in that condition, though. Um, this I got for my child. Essential Handbook of Pokemon. Hopefully I don't have it over there, which I don't think I do. My six, soon to be 16 year old child. Maybe there's a card in there, wouldn't that be great? First run Charizard. My child's birthday is coming up, but we'll have to send those books before. Craig Johnson, Land of Wolves from the series Longmire. Never heard of it, but it's a signed copy, so. I didn't even look at the signature, but I'll we'll pick up most signed books that are semi-popular. Just because why not? Why not make money off things you don't care about? Yeah, there it is. More simple fucking worthless signature. Cat Fantastic by edited by Andre Norton and Martin Greenberg. That's all you need to know. That's Cat Cat Fantastic, buddy. Must be some place by Donna Farley. Oh look, Salon. Salon ninety nine. What is that? Borders? Another fucking company that should have been in business for a thousand years. But got greedy and stupid. Lost. What are we at? 22 minutes. The Scots. A portrait of the Scottish soul at home and abroad by Ian. Or is that Lane? Ian, Ian Finlayson. I don't really care about Scottish people, but... Never know what's inside here. I needed my... 15 books and I got them. This one's pretty cool. This is probably the coolest book I got today. Gems from Shakespeare. Doesn't look very old. Almost looks like one of those Hallmark kind of deals, but I don't know. It's hard to tell. Ill blows the wind that profits nobody. Anna Burnt. Mary Zen. Zanos? What? 1910. Is that true? Could it be true? Two five nineteen ten. Maybe it is old. Gems from Shakespeare. Yeah. Let's say 1909. I thought it was like 1940s, 1950s. That's even better then. It's a pretty little book. It's a pretty book. It is not so with him that all things knows. As tis with us that square our guests by shows, but most. It is presumption in, in us when the help of heaven we count the act of men. All right. There it is. Francis Bacon. I love it. Is this the end? Signs of God's providence in a disturbing new world. It says it's a bestseller. Looked like it was worth 10, 12 bucks on Phoebe, so I got it. What's it say? Over the last few decades, Dr. David Jeremiah has become one of the world's most sought-after Christian leaders on topics that deal with biblical application and modern culture. A few would dispute that the pace at which things are currently changing is unprecedented. I would disagree. Me. 
Basic Writings of Existentialism. Edited and with an introduction by Gordon Marino. There was another book by Gordon, but it was Basic Writings of on ethics, and I was like, fuck that. Plus, it had a shitload of shitload of underlining, marginalia, highlighting all the goods that you don't want in a book. Unless it's by somebody famous, or the marginalia is by someone famous. The Complete Sayings of Jesus by Norman Vincent Peale. Oh, wait, as recorded in the King James Version. Oh, I just figured it was by Norman. Anyway, I hope to sell that one for some monies. <clears throat> the Witch of Blackbird and Pond, Blackbird Pond, and Related Readings. Is this the whole book? Or is it like a condensed version? Never read a witch, the witch from Blackbird Pond. Maybe now I shall. There are the Dickens books I got: Bleak House, the Oxford Illustrated Dickens, with the original illustrations, and also Christmas Stories, the Oxford Illustrated Dickens. Cute. This one, I Hear America Talking, by Stuart Berg Flexner, an illustrated history of American words and phrases, which will go into my dictionary, uh, collection. Yes. <coughs> Where's me walk to? Greg Stefan. Or is that Mike Vernon? That's Glenn Hanlon, motherfucker. It's like Mike Vernon. There's Stefan. Yeah. It's a good story attached to that, but I won't tell you it. Why don't you do it? Bit to pull this out of the slip case. I can't believe no one bought this motherfucker for 50 cents. William Thackeray, drawn from life. Doesn't include his handmade cards, but still some of his drawings, which are pretty good. Pretty sure in the originals there were some colored ones. Colored illustrations, but it's a good artist. Not amazing, but a good one. I'm not saying he wasn't talented, but I'm just saying he's not the greatest. Accomplished. Nice slipcase. Generic slipcase, but what do you expect? This one, I don't know what to think. History of England by in the 18th century by Thomas Babington Macaulay. London Folio Society, 1980. There's the proper way to pull it out. Oh. Nice embossed cover. I was hoping it was older, but like I said, 50 cents, I can't complain. Assume if I would have went yesterday, I would have got more stuff, but I didn't go yesterday because I was resting. Well, mostly I was just drinking beer. Well, it takes me 24 hours to drink three beers, so that's my idea of getting drunk. Free beers. Which, by the way, uh, Bell's Oktoberfest, which just came out. Outstanding. Mystery of England. Is that all? 
sell them. If I do those, I did do those. Alright, that's it. Peace.